What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? We'll start a little early since I started a little late. Ah, uh, we doing? Duck, I imagine that my voice answered your question. Whoopsie. I'm feeling okay. <laughs> I am feeling okay. And not a bit better. <clears throat> My voice sounds like a big old pile of mud, dude. But we're here. But we're here and we're doing it, baby. <laughs> it really doesn't hurt as bad as it sounds. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Uh, it really doesn't hurt very bad whenever I talk, so that's good. If it, if it hurt, I probably wouldn't be streaming. Um... Now, is there a chance that I'll pay for this tonight? Like around 9 o'clock? I might. I might pay for three hours of talking. My voice might not be happy with me. But for now, I'm all right. As long as I don't get too excited. <laughs> Stop talking. Okay. What does it The good news is that I got those bassy, bassy, dulcet tones. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows my sorrow. Not quite. Not quite there. So at least I don't hit that low note. Nope. Nope. Do, 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 do. I think that's as low as it goes. Like a didgeridoo. Well, the good news is, is that we're playing the case of the Golden Idol. And while that game definitely has some talking, it's mostly me sitting there playing Mad Lips. So you guys get to watch me play Mad Lips for a bit today.
Let me take the kids to school, then we can open up a Discord, and you can just move your mouth, and I'll provide the speaking. Yeah, absolutely. You could just do that one voice mod that you did the one time that made your voice crazy low. And then it's just the voice that I'm doing right now. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. <clears throat> I can do really low. <laughs> Get ready to say it a lot. Yeah, I'm sure he would. I'm sure he would. Doc, why are you up so early? You said you had to be up early tomorrow for a meeting, but what's the deal with today? Are you just practicing for tomorrow? We're glad you're here. I'm glad you got up early to join this us. This time on Dragon Ball Z, it's time to got chop on. Sure is. Dog woke you up. Oh no, I'd be I'd be irate. I don't even like my dog. So if my dog woke me up, I'd be I would be pitching a fit. Weird. The gotcha cam didn't come up. I have a gotcha cam. Uh, what if it's beans? Thankfully, it is not. But if it was, my game plan was going to be to just stockpile beans and the next stream I have where I'm feeling good, I was going to do all of them at once. Okay. You got the double die. The double die is if you get a crit, Zando gets to pick a game, get a nat fail, I get to pick a game, anything in between does nothing. What's extra fun is that there's two op two opportunities. So you could potentially double crit and get to pick two bonus streams, which we don't have time for, Zando, so please don't let that happen. Um, but we're gonna figure it out. So what I'll do is I've got the mini, the mini die going. You just tell me when to stop, okay? I'm gonna get the big, I'm gonna get the big roller. You tell me when to stop, I'll stop. Good morning, Alendris. How are you? Welcome in. I'm sure you can tell that I sound very good. It's going, Zando. I hope you didn't just go to like pick up the gun. Oh, I stopped as soon as I saw it. And now we roll. Ah, it's a three and a five. Three and a five. Five on the inside, three on the outside. Bummer, dude. With two attempts, too. On a six-sided die, you had a lot of opportunities there. Or does the does it go down? If both dice land on the same number between two and five, it should be a reroll. I'm down. I think that's fair. I have a request. Well, I just did. I just sang. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows my sorrow. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows. That's as low as it goes. That's so low. But Jesus. That's so low. Power of friendship. Whoa. What's up, Cameron plus Deanna? Welcome into the sixth stream. Welcome, welcome. Just in time for some Jeopardy. Welcome in, Cameron plus Deanna. How was Chicory? How was Chicory? We're going to keep going. Hold movie, movie until after drop off. I'll let you know when I'm back. Please do, Zando. Please let me know. Oh, I see Marie was redeemed, too. Marie, would you like to read our Jeopardies for today? Do you want that to be your contribution? Yes, that'll be my plan. Oh, that voice feels real good on the throat. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> Chicory was good. Definitely going to keep playing. Love to hear it. The way Jeopardy works here on the channel, folks, is I will read off the prompts. You do not have to answer in the form of a question. You just got to type the answer. First one to type it wins the points. Um, I will give two minutes on the clock. So if people are not able to get it, then uh, the it leaves. It's a me, Mario. Um, and we'll, uh, yeah, that's the rules. Them's the rules. Get yourself on the leaderboard. This first one is worth the maximum amount of points because uh, it's double jeopardy and it maxed out at 2K. So this, this question is worth 2,000 points. Category, Mario, would you like to would you like to tell us? Playing in the band, John Cummings, Jeffrey Hyman, and Douglas Colvin became this band's Johnny, Joey, and Dee Dee. Playing in the band, John Cummings, Jeffrey Hyman, and Douglas Colvin became this band's Johnny, Joey, and Dee Dee. He turns into Dexter there with Dee Dee a little bit. Dee Dee. 
Get out of my laboratory! Maria. Oh, I need to put the timer on the clock. So if you think you know the answer, drop it in the chat. First one to drop it in the chat wins the points. Wins the big 2K. It does look like some people are getting ads right now, so I might read it again whenever our ad people are back. I, um, I posted a TikTok yesterday with Marie and it was uh, like stop scrolling TikTok and uh, I think it was too weird <laughs> I think it was too weird for my demographic too weird for my demographic I uh, I <laughs> you guys really have no idea how weird I can get I mean you've heard the mirror mural so you know a little bit but like I can get real weird but TikTok was not about my level of weirdness they were not having it It took me a while to put up the timer, so I'll give you guys until 3 minutes and 30 seconds. I'll read it again whenever the uh, advertisements are done. That does sound like a good plan. I think so, too. I think it sounds like a good plan. I will say, I never would have known this one. I know the answer, but I wouldn't have guessed it without having some frame of reference. All right, welcome back to our advertisement, friends. Welcome back. We're glad you're back. Uh, the answer to this ca category is John Cummings, Jeffrey Hyman, and Douglas Colvin became this band's Johnny, Joey, and Dee Dee. Does anybody know the name of the band? I'll give you guys till three minutes on the clock since you had advertisements. But it's about to be 2K points on the floor. Girl got me on the floor. Ice JJ Fish for that one. All right, three minutes. The question answer was, who are the Ramones? The Ramones, the lead band members of the Ramones. All right, next category is Mario, would you, or Marie, would you tell us, do not ever call me Mario again. That's right, Marie. We don't want a copyright infringement. Uh, category is, the Great Lakes. And the answer, this is the only Great Lake not mentioned in the Paris Peace Treaty in 1783 with Great Britain. This is the only Great Lake not mentioned in the Paris Peace Treaty in 1783 with Great Britain. Thanks, Marie. You can go back to your spot now. Where did Zando go, dude? <laughs> it is indeed Lake Michigan. What are the odds Zando would not be here for a Michigan question? Lake Michigan, and oh, that was actually a final Jeopardy. So, okay, Google, pick a number between 1 and 20. We'll see how many points uh, Wit gets here. 1,400 points! Fourteen hundred points. Look at me naming a random great lake. Well, you named the right one. You named the correct one. Okay. Uh, with that, with that, let's list off our current leaderboard. In third place is maybe thirty bats with four K. In second place is Sneaky Pigs with ten K eight hundred. And in first place is Zando with 12K800. Only a 2,000 uh, point uh, disparation there. So. Sneaky could catch up. Sneaky could catch up. All right, folks. We're going to play some Case of the Golden Idol. If you've never heard of this game, it's a it's kind of like a Sierra, uh, Mad Lib, Murder Mystery, Solve the Clue, Adventure. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. I'm having a great time with it. The art is a little bit much at first to get used to, but once you do, it's really cool. Uh, and I'm here for the mystery. So we're going to get into it. Bye, Spoofy. Everybody say bye, Spoofy. Bye, Spoofy. Okay. Um, as I understand it, we are most of the way through this game. We, we still have... Um, we have to solve number eight. We were in the middle of it. We have to solve, uh, no, 
We have to solve number nine. Um, then we have to solve ten and eleven. So we've only got three three quests left here. So we got to figure this one out. Still, we started it. Um, it looks like we figured out the identities. It looks like we figured out this. We got to figure out where everybody was when the body was found. So Leopold Blanchard found him. Um, so where was he found in the salon? So that means that we got to figure out who all these people are. Where was James Turner? He was the doctor. Where was the gardener? Where was the butler? Who is the general? Who is the prince? Oh, the loyalist has the, okay, so the salon. Um, we got to figure out where was, where was the gardener? He was in the garden. That makes sense. The prince. Is the prince Ergen? Ergen Patu? What was Master Bell's name? Gideon. Sorry about that, folks. You're going to be getting a lot of that today, and I'm real sorry. Okay, so it looks like Alistair and James were playing chess. So the doctor was in the chess house, and maybe the general was in the chess house. The young man must be Gideon Bell. Okay, so in the library, the butler passed out. What's up, Wise and Lemur? How we doing? Podrick was in the library, passed out. So where was the young man and the prince? That's the trick now. Played croquet. They got bored and went to drink tea. Ergen drew his attention to the chess house. Saw them lecture the butler. I think they might have been in the tea house the entire time. Heyo! We got it. How goes it, Wise and Lemur? How's your, how's your morning treating you? Hopefully you don't have the crud that I've got. Okay. Now we got to piece together everything. Early in the morning, blank, 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 in the blank, and blank to blank. Meanwhile, in the blank, 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 and blank, uh, Lemurian blank from the blank, and the blank around, around noon, blank, 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 and blank the blank on him to blank, blank, blank. Easy. Easy. Okay, so we at least know the Lemurian prince. Do I have the word prince? I don't even think I have the word prince. Oh, it was the boomerang. Stole a Lemurian boomerang. Because the boomerang was used to murder, right? From the what? Blank, blank, and blank, blank. Blank, blank, blanked, blank, blank, and stole the Murray and Boomerang from the blank. Ah. Meanwhile, in the blank, 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 and blanked. Yes. Okay. Meanwhile, in the chess house library. Meanwhile, in the library, uh, Leopold Blanchard drugged Podrick Hill and stole a Lemurian boomerang from the... from the somewhere. 
display this thing yeah see it's it's missing so what room are we in right now salon in the blank at around noon blank blank and blank blank and blank the blank on him to blank 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 <laughs> okay frame the murder on him where's the myrtle where's the word myrtle Blank, 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 and frame the blank on him. What? Oh boy. Early in the morning, blank, blank, and blank, blank, in the blank, and blank to blank. Oh boy. Not the blank blanks. They're back. They're back, and they're they're here, man. Early in the morning, blank, blank, and blank, blank, in the blank, and blank to blank. Hmm. There's a whole lot happening. Meanwhile, in the library, Leopold Blanchard drugged Podrick Hill and stole a Murray and Boomerang from the salon. That may not be true. Somebody drugged the sherry. Who? Who drugged the sherry? Is it going to be with their eyes? Oh, I don't have time for this. Okay, he is also drugged. So both both Podrick and Blanchard are both drugged. So somebody else must have drugged him. Who drugged him? Who else would have drugged him? Wait, what is this? Is one missing? Why? Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, boy. I see. I mean, it would make sense for Blanchard to kill him because he's the other the other person running. <clears throat> Gosh, I don't know, you guys. This is really tricky. Let's try and solve the other one. Early in the morning, blank, 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 in the blank, and blank to blank. I see what they're wanting me to think. So who killed who is the question. If it was Ergen Patu, early in the morning, Ergen Patu <clears throat> killed or maybe he was the one doing the drugging. So maybe Ergen Patu drugged Leopold Blanchard in the salon. No, in the in the uh, in the library, right? And blank to blank, and stole a, a, a seal. Is that what they're called? The seals. Yeah, he wanted the seal. 
Okay, early in the morning, Ergen Batu drugged Leopold Blanchard in the library and stole a seal. Meanwhile, in the salon, no. Who drugged Podrick Hill? <laughs> Who drugged Podrick Hill? Who is Lord Alistair? Is he the one that's dead? Could it be Alistair? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is too much. This is too much. Meanwhile, in the library, somebody drugged Podrick Hill. But I don't have drugged twice. I can only use drugged once. Meanwhile, in the salon, someone killed Augustus Valentine. That's what I'm going to say. Someone killed Augustus Valentine and stole the Murray Boomerang from the salon. Or maybe he was killed somewhere else. In the blank at around noon, blank, blank, and blank, blank, and blank the blank on him to frame blank, blank. <clears throat> okay, so who had something planted on them? The button. The button. The button. The button. The button. And planted the button. Yes, yes, yes. To frame Leopold Blanchard. In the blanket around noon, blank, blank, killed, blank, no. Ah, there's too many words. There's too many words. Wait a second. I can use it more than once. Oh, I'm such a dummy. Okay, well, definitely planted the button on him to frame Leopold Blanchard. I know that's right. So the question is, is this another drugged? Okay. In the salon at around noon, blank, blank, killed Augustus Valentine and planted the button on him to frame Leopold Blanchard. Easy. Meanwhile, in the blank, 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 and stole something. So it is drugged again, and it is Podrick Hill. But the question is, who drugged Podrick Hill? And who killed Augustus Valentine? I think it's these two. I think it's Alistair and James Turner. The question is who did the drugging and who did the killing? Who did the drugging and who did the killing? Who was near the black poppy bush? Is there even a black poppy bush around here? No, there's just chrysanthemum. There's chrysanthemum and rose. I'm just going to put in names and hope. All right, so Alistair, we're going to say Alistair drugged. No, I, th I think Al No, I don't know, dude. Oh, boy. This is a big guess, but yikes. All right, let's try the other one. No, man, I was so certain.
Ergen Patu drugged Leopold Blanchard in the library and stole a seal. I think that's almost certain. He definitely stole the seal, and he definitely was the one that did the drugging. Meanwhile, because there's nothing else he could have done. Uh, meanwhile, in the library, somebody drugged Podrick Hill and stole a Murray and Boomerang from the salon. In the salon at around noon, somebody killed Augustus Valentine and planted the button on him to frame Leopold Blanchard. Who was it? Who else would it even be? What clues am I missing? Was Gideon, did he have? No, he looks fine. Let's read through their testimonies again. Had a glass of sherry with James in the library. Oh, who is this? Leopold. Yes. With James? With James. James did it. Oh no, I've got something all wrong. So James certainly drugged Leopold Blanchard and stole that. Was it in the library? Yeah. But now I've got this all messed up. Ergen Patu did something. Because he had to have stolen a seal. Let's just say that Alistair had nothing to do with it. So who did he drug? Podrick? Ah! All right, maybe I've got this backwards. Maybe I've got this backwards. No! What? Ah, what am I doing wrong, dude? Come on! I have to be close. I have to be close. Okay. Early in the morning, James Turner drugged Leopold Blanchard in the library and stole a boomerang. Meanwhile, in the library, Ergen Patu drugged Podrick Hill and stole a Murray and Sill from the salon.
I don't know. I guess I gotta get a hint. I got I got no clue, you guys. Okay. Let's get ourselves a hint. I'm back, baby. Give me that movie, movie. You got it. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Tina, you fat lard. Come get some dinner and then meet me at the talent show where I'll show you my sweet hockey skills and bust, bust out my flying V. Real good. Tina, you fat lard. Come get some dinner. And then meet me at the talent show where I'll show you my sweet hockey skills and bust out my flying V. Too easy. Yep, Napoleon Dynamite Ducks. Easy. Okay, on the criminal activities. Just a thought, my friend, someone has been killed for sure, but some things have been stolen as well. Some to serve the purpose of the killers, but sometimes thefts may occur that are unrelated to the murder. Count all the valuables, some may be missing. I know! <sighs> Guess I gotta earn another. And that was the wrong hint. I guess on the drugs. Some symptoms of drugs are clearly visible. It is possible that more than one drug has been used. Observe all people present. Who could have drugged whom and why? <gasps> Wait. But what would that change? What would that change? So he's hyper fixated. So he had a lichen, a Lemurian lichen, a Lemurian lichen. Okay. But that doesn't help me! Ah! Where was he drugged? Where was he drugged? Maybe that's what I'm getting wrong. Where was he drugged? Let's find out Podrick's history again. Ah! No! I don't know where. I don't know where it happened. We are in the salon, right? The murder happened in the salon. That's where he stole the seal from. I don't want to look up the answer. Okay. So now what's wrong? No. Hmm. 
Now! Now. Early in the morning, James Turner drugged Leopold Blanchard in the library and stole a boomerang. Meanwhile, in the tea house, Ergen Patu drugged Gideon Bell and stole a Lemurian seal from the salon. In the salon at around noon, Alistair, maybe that's, maybe the death didn't happen in the salon. In the field. In the fountain. In the, in, in the, in the library. In the flower beds. In the <laughs> uh, tea house. In the. Um... So does that mean that wasn't correct? Because no matter what I say, it's not changing. You know. Oh man, come on, this is so silly! Dude, I really don't want to look it up. I really don't want to just look it up, but I feel like I've got this right. It's it's one silly thing that I'm missing. Early in the morning, James Turner drugged Lord Le Leopold Blanchard in the library and stole a boomerang. Meanwhile, maybe it's not a boomerang. What else could it be, a club? No, the boomerang is the murder weapon, which Alistair had. button. I hate this game. James Turner drugged Leopold Blanchard in the library and stole a button. Meanwhile, in the tea house, Ergen Patu drugged Gideon Bell and stole the Marian seal from the salon. In the chess house at around noon, Alistair Koch killed Augustus Valentine and planted the button on him to frame Leopold Blanchard. That's perfect. It's perfect. Unless it wasn't the chess house. Oh my goodness. Oh, I kept barking down the wrong rabbit hole every time. Every single one. Okay. Well, that was tough. Oh, that was tough. Okay. Brotherhood members Alistair and James plotted to turn the ruling moderate and royalist parties against each other. Over the course of a weekend at James's manor, Alistair murdered the moderate leader and James framed the loyalist leader. You have proven that I can trust you. Hey, Walter. Or is that Lazarus? Here is the Brotherhood's artifact that I removed from the Traitor Keen. Oh. Let me educate you how it works. I take it, I set it to take heat from this cup of water. Then I change the symbols and use the idol to give that heat to something else. 
But there's much more that the idol can do. <laughs> Is that it? Whew, that was tough. That was really tough. All right, dos mas, last ones. The Triumph Mortar, we're on the penultimate level here. Oh boy. <laughs> All right. All right. Such a relief that they decided not to push any fashion changes. I hope the process is not painful. This tribunal is a farce. They spread lies that my pure love is merely lust. And what do they even know about true art? I felt it in my bones that I should have drunk less. And now we poor souls experience God's wrath. It is a thing of beauty to see order prevail. If it were not for the first virtue, I would feel very happy. Nicholas, I'll wager you feel the new regime rewards your diligence now. So tell me why I saw you spend more than three shillings on a new clothes after I asked you to lend me money and you said you had none to spare. I suggest you lend me some now unless you want me to write up an official report about the fourth virtue breach, your beloved brother. All right, Nicholas Maker. Labeled a protocol... Uh, as being on Thursday, even though it was Wednesday, took a double length lunch break on the office. Loyal service in low ranking position to the order party, Tim Merritt. Weekly order party of People's Tribunal number 42. Six culprits are being brought to the tribunal. Tribunal is opened. Each culprit charges are evaluated and merit changes are evaluated. First culprit's merit exaction, merit exaction, merit exaction. Poor bugger. I've never seen so much merit removed in the tribunal. Some mistakes are very costly. All right, that's David Gorin. Oh boy, this got real political, huh? All right. Fangor Quinn. Okay. All right. All right. Sorry about that, folks. Claimed he had no wife. Had a, pic a painting depicting a naked person in his house. Broke his wife's favorite teapot in anger. As observed, spending a night with neighbor's wife. Walter Keene. Mr. Walter Keene. Flirted three times with different married women during the party convention. Wore a ridiculous headgear at five public events. Claimed he had not betrayed High Arbiter Lazar Lazarus during his ritual of ascendance. Expelled from party order. Lothar. What? Lothar? Held a dinner party a few years ago where he offered large amounts of wine. Got angry. Uh, revealed the whereabouts of his hiding fugitive dissident daughter Mary and her husband Peter. Mary and Peter! They got married? Josh Bailey. Uh, left his work at Tannery, drank excessive amounts of gin, drank excessive amounts of rum, approached a married woman with an easy offer, denied four times during questioning that he had done these acts. Horace Webb! How about that? Count Horace Webb has not held down a job since the new regime. Claims he works in the castle, holding his, helping his servants clean it. Possesses 15 books kept in his pri pri uh, private library. Expressed willingness to donate his castle to the party. Gideon Bell. Wears an outrageous hairstyle, broke down in tears ten times, has refused to work, start working, evaluated his five instances. Rejected the hybrid's request. Whew. Oh, come on. What are you insinuating, James? I would never breach the fourth virtue. You know I keep no secrets. Slapped a sergeant, listened to marching music. Oh, boy. Dear Arbiter, I am writing to inform you that our regiment's uh, colonel was seen with another officer's wife in a potentially intimate s situation. We implore you to send your agents to investigate this potential flouting of the first virtue. Silence! You perform your function as much as is required. It is paramount to ensure our new society. Remember the second virtue. Store confiscated objects and evidence according to the virtue breached. Okay, so the first virtue is drugs. The second virtue is money. Third virtue is music and nakedness. <laughs> Fourth virtue is books. Uh-oh. Fascinating. In all truth, Lord High Arbiter, I would prefer storing no more than this. Moderation. Oh man, this got real. This got real big brother out of nowhere. Real big brother out of nowhere. I've already seen that. I've already seen the little naked man. 
Okay. The man is not breathing. Prince of Dusk, like night I am dark and full of terror. I do not fear love. Do not make that error. But when you know my name, just look for my face. Okay. So we're missing three clues. I don't see anything sparkling. Ah, it's you. That is music to my ears, Arbiter, but do control your emotions. We, as arbiters of order, must never violate the first virtue. Untidiness. First virtue is this, second virtue is this, third virtue is that, fourth is that. Okay. Oh, boy. Blank, blank have passed since order party has seized power. During a tribunal. Oh, what is this? Uh, during a tribunal, blank blank is judged to have the largest blank deduction in all tribunal history. To execute his punishment, blank was used on him and he lost blank blank and blank died. All right. All right. We got a lot of work to do. We got a lot of work to do. And I got to get all these correct. Boy. All right. Let's get to work. All right. So indecency is clearly something. Sloth is something. Literature is something. First one is most certainly indulgence. Excessive. Oh, none of those are what I thought. I wish I wish each of these were individual. <laughs> I really wish each of these would, like, check off whenever I was done. Oh, man. Okay, this is art and music. Fourth one was literature. Art, music, and what is this? Vanity? Fashion?
Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Remember the second virtue. Store confiscated objects and evidence. So it's a secrets? Truth? Second virtue is truth, not secrets. At work, secrets, lies, mistakes. Could be punished. Moderation, truth, untidiness doesn't make sense, does it? Beauty, diligence. Merit. Maybe beauty. Moderation, truth, beauty, and uh, diligence. Ay, ay, ay. What on earth am I going to do? Oh, boy. This is a lot. Now I understand how this game is still six hours, even though it's only three parts left. Okay. And indulgence. So indulgence is definitely one of them. No, it could still be moderation, couldn't it? Sloth is definitely something. Literature is forbidden. This gives no hints. Emotions. The first one is emotions. Excessive emotions. Excessive indulgence. Excessive lust. Lies. Wine. Lies go somewhere. Okay, truth, yeah. Leaving work early. Books. Why is cleaning a problem? Crying is a problem. Excessive emotions. Working. Secrets. Anger. Lust. Okay, so the only thing I don't think I have is the fourth virtue. Okay, so emotions is a problem of the first one. This is so much.
Okay, I think I've got these backwards. The second one's got something to do with work. be though what word would it be what word would it be diligence <laughs> Good, I guess. You go, Glen Coco. I can't believe I got it right on the first stinking try. That was so difficult. That was so difficult. All right. So now I got to figure out what the punishment is for each of these things. So. Who was just killed? He wrote the Prince of Dusk. Doesn't sound like any of those people. All right. Uh, slap to Sergeant in anger. Listen to marching music in his manner. Loyal service to the order party. 20 merit. Um, we're just going to assume that's all the merit that he has. So that means that one and two are both total nine for some reason. I'm going to get a piece of paper. Okay, so the music one and the anger one. So, anger plus music equals nine. Anger is an emotion. That's a verse virtue. And music is a third virtue. All right. All right. All righty. <clears throat> Twelve. Okay, so this and this are worth eight. Drank a full bottle of brandy. That's indulgence. So, brandy plus the book, that's four, is worth eight. Okay. I can't help but notice that my boy Lazarus doesn't have a little book. Hmm? Can't help but notice that. Just can't help but notice that my boy Lazarus doesn't have a book. All right. These two are worth six. That's definitely a number two. And mislabeling a protocol? Is that mistakes? All right, so two is worth three. Um, let's see. These are each worth one. Secret and secret. Lies and secret. So the fourth virtue is worth one. Which means that one equals seven which means that three equals two. Let's see if my math is right. Um, number one is worth seven. Number 
two is worth three. Number three is worth two. And number four is worth one. Man, I'm good at math. I'm good at math. Okay. Uh, Fangor Quinn. Now we gotta go through each one. Here we go. Fangor Quinn claimed he had no wife. That's a lie. Let's just write down each one. Lie, nude, art, uh, anger, lust. Lie was worth one. Nude art is worth two. Anger is worth seven. Lust is worth seven. So he got 14, 16, 17. Walter Keen. Whoopsie. Walter Keen. He flirted. Don't know what that is. Flirt. Headgear. Lie. Okay. The headgear's worth two, the lie's worth one. The flirting, I guess, is number one. I think he got negative 10. But he was also expelled. I don't know what that means. No! Oh, he flirted three times. Does that count times three? Because that would be so many. That would be 21, 23, 24. What? What? Thank you, Weisenlamer. I will. Appreciate it. I, I don't know. I don't know what I did wrong. Let's go to the next one, I guess, and try again. Uh, Lothar Richards. Here we go. Mm. Lothar, dinner party with wine. Got angry. Plus 15. Okay, so dinner party is indulgent, that's seven. Angry is emotions, that's seven. So he has plus one. Just enough. Okay, Josh Bailey. Nope. Josh Bailey. Left work early. Jen. Rum. Married. Lied for. Okay. So he lied four times. That's anywhere between one and four, depending on what they want me to do. He didn't work. That's worth three. Gin is worth seven. Rum is worth seven. The married woman thing, I'm assuming, is worth seven. So that's four, That's 21, 24, 25. Come on! Yes, okay. So it does count each one. That's good to know. It's good to know. All right, let's do Horace Webb and Gideon Bell before I lose my mind. All right, Horace. Uh, Horace has no job, cleans, whatever that means, 15 books, 
donates. That's plus 200. Okay. So no job. I'm assuming is three. Cleaning? I still don't know what that means. That he cleans. What is the deal with the cleaning thing? I guess three. And then he has 15 bucks. So that's 15. So that's 21. So that's 179. Sixty instances. Okay. Okay. Sixty instances of non-work. Did they kill Horus? What? I think they killed Horus after he gave them his castle. All right. One hundred and eighty plus three plus fifteen. No, that would be 198, so he would still have plus two. Just barely. All right, Gideon. Gideon, hair, 10 emotion. Uh, five work. Secret. I think Gideon might have died. Okay. Hair is worth two. Ten times of emotion is worth 70. Five times of work is worth 15. And a secret is worth one. So that is 18, that is 88. That's a lot of infractions, Gideon. Ah, what? Oh, it's 90. You're wackadoo, dude. Okay, so that's definitely an eight. Me, come on. Job is worth three. That's 15. 10 times emotion. Broke down 10 times. That's 70. That's 85. The hair is another two. That's 87. The lie is 88, homie. So something else must be wrong there, huh? No, because then it would... Ah! All right. What is him cleaning? What is the stinking cleaning thing? Claims he works in his castle. A lie. It's a lie. Isn't it? So that's... 196, so it's plus four. Oh, these rules, these rules. All right, let's see if we can, I don't know what Walter Keen is. I don't really care about looking this one up, but I don't want to spoil that. Ha, ah, rats. It's gotta be Gideon Bell, dude. They killed Gideon.
He lost blank blank and died. What are these called? Virtues? Top of the morning to you. What's up, Pastor Savage? Four virtues have passed. Oh, no, wait. It's like a trial or something. Four something. Four trials. Tribunals. All good, my tall bearded friend. Yes, indeed. We're just, we're just, try I'm trying to figure out what in the world's going on with this puzzle. We're on the second to last puzzle in this game and it's kicking my hind end. Maybe it's not that. Four blank blank have passed since order party has seized power. During a tribunal, Gideon Bell is judged to have the largest merit deduction in all of tribunal history. To execute his punishment, Idol Ida was used on him and he lost... Bones? Did he lose bones? Souls? That doesn't make... Oh, years. Years. Maybe 88 years. They used the same number of ear years as he lost. But what is this? I swear it's virtues. It must be years. I don't know how many years it's been. I haven't been paying attention. <laughs> well, you think I pay attention? You think I pay attention? I don't pay attention. It's 1795. How do I know what date this is? I don't. Three years. Let's try three years. Whoopsie. Wow! First try! First try, baby! We got it! Hmm. Okay. The Order Party has seized power and now forces, uh, enforces the four maxims of virtue. The young Duke Gideon Bell was judged during the tribunal to have lost 88 merits. The high arbiter of the party, Lazarus Hurst, used the idol to, to decrease Gideon's youth by 88 years, thus making him 100, which resulted in his death. Last one, baby! Last one. The New Order. The slight delay in the peaceful march to the King's Castle. Oh. My. Okay. It's actually not that many. It's just a huge map. Yes, Comrade Lazarus has not yet returned for several hours. Comrades Alistair and James have gone to find him. If they do not return, we will organize more search parties to find Lost. Belchester, Manor, Lover's Islet, Crossroads, Camp, Gabin, Little Mermaid Inn. Lazarus Hurst. David Gorin, since his success in the Mermaid Inn, has proven to be resourceful and discreet. Nicholas Maker, cowardly but deceit or dutiful, <laughs> up, useful up to a limit. Alistair, pompous and vain, but being a military man is ready to obey and kill. James Turner, greedy and hedonistic, requires constant material motivation to cooperate. Walter Keane, ambitious and inventive, but treacherous, as many people smart as many smart people are. Lazarus, you took 32 things from me. I demand you return them. If you refuse, I will make the story of your true origins known to the other party leaders. At half 11 on May 15th, meet me at the place of the idol was stolen from our brotherhood and poor Willard Wright met his death. Come alone and bring proof, something personal of yours to give to the veiled woman. Tie your reply to the pigeon and release it from cage. You will find me. Okay. The regime has to fall. It's taken everything from me. 
May 15th, Capital Route Morning Report. At 8, a newfangled insurrectionist carriage passes by. At 8.30, an individual in his insurrectionist uniform passes by on a new two-wheel contraption. 10.15, two individuals in insurrection uniforms pass on horses. Why are you not working, you worthless piece of garbage? I'm doing the same thing I saw Lazarus do during the merit executions. Oh no, the stone's broke. Is the idol done? A man in a helmet with numerous cuts on his body, not breathing. Somebody's dead. Belchester, Port, Capital. This feels like so many more than 36. Newly invented. Scarecrow. Bullet lodged. White pigeon. I admit I may have treated you unjustly after our long cooperation. I will come alone in peace so we can discuss your compensation. Darn you, you cunning devil. You'll find me in the place where you two first met. There we can talk. Oh, I recognize that voice. It is you. Isn't it poetic that you've fallen for the same trap you did all those years ago? Straw men are your bane. Well, there is more to see here. I don't see anything else. Oh, wow, it's this house from the very beginning? Oh man, it's really all coming full circle, huh? Mary! Dear husband, you are so brave and you've been drinking since early this morning. What will we do now? What if the evil government find us? From the pure flower that I know that could be for me, Edmund Cloudsley. Dear Mary, I know that where your unworthy mate is hiding you. Soon I will free you from his dirty paws and sip him to the colonies. Whilst, uh, while, you, while you, I will put on a pedestal of sweetest praise and you will become my ideal wife, Edmund. I thought Edmund was way dead, dude. For you, I would fight a tiger and win. Peter Bally. Mary, my uncle Edmund Cloudsley died in some robbery and I'm rich. Now your father will see me for the man that I am. Let's marry. But that was seven years ago. I don't understand. Worry not, and continue the feast, wife. Nothing can stand in my way. I will kill our enemies wherever we go. I have some small but pressing business to attend to at the property of our late brother Sebastian, the previous Proud Beast Steward. I will be back at the camp for our 10 o'clock strategy meeting as planned. Oh, it's the mermaid! Oh, there's order rats sneaking around here. This is no good. I hope they will just blackmail me and bugger off. Ada Baker and Walter Knott. Do you think they will try to kidnap the king? Me and my employer are getting out of this blasted country. Why does she have Edmund Cloudsley's? I've instructed him to arrive at around half eleven. Most likely we will be in order party uniform. If he comes alone without any backup outside, approach him. If he gives you something that belonged to one who escaped your tonic, you may proffer him the instruction slip I gave you. Conceal your face, he may recognize you. Whew. Nonsense, I'm not an idiot, but real men like us can beat those all party ninnies, even without any weapons. Oh boy. There's a lot to see and a lot to piece together. Let's get after it. Wow! That's so many! <laughs> ah, wowzers. Early in the morning, blank blank went to the blank to blank 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 because blank blank wanted to blank blank blank. The scroll's not filled in. Before noon, blank blank and blank blank went out to try and blank blank blank. Instead, they found the blank blank at the blank. On the way back, they started to blank over it. In the afternoon, blank blank went to the blank to blank 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 because blank blank had tried to blank 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 to get back his blank blank. Oh, man. All right. Okay. What are you talking about? I'm able to travel between the chapters. They know how, how tough this is. Oh my goodness. It's so tough, they gave me a chapter wheel 
built into the UI. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. 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 This was David Gorin, who fell for the Scarecrow trick years ago, right? So that's what he says down here. He says, you fell for the Scarecrow again. So this has got to be David Gorin, who fell for the Scarecrow trick yet again, right? So somebody with Alistair found Alistair and somebody else fought over the thing. Who is this? And where did they find it? James. So James Turner and Alistair Cook went out to try and find Lazarus Hurst and said they found the Golden Idol where on the way back they started to fight over it. I don't know where. I guess I'm just going to guess because honestly I have no clue. The manor. Okay. He didn't kill him at the manor though. He killed him at like uh, crossroads. Perfect. I didn't know that was an option. Okay. Before noon, James Turner and Alistair Cook went out to try and find Lazarus Hurst. Instead, they found the Golden Idol at the manor. On the way back, they started to fight over it, and for some reason now it's broken, and we don't know why. We're going to find it. else died where? Nobody's dead here. This guy's dead here, but what time of day is it? Who knows?
What did her notebook say? Okay, so this was almost certainly uh, James and um, Alistair. So the question is, who is the who is the carriage at eight o'clock? That must be Lazarus. that who is that that did what okay that's the cloudsley cabin that's interesting to know who are you It must be Lazarus. It's Walter Keane, not not David Warren. No, it was David. Ah, oh, I thought it might be David. Okay. So in the afternoon, Walter Keane killed David Gorin at the cabin. Now he's got to figure out who else is dead. <laughs> Somebody's dead. Somebody went to somewhere to blank something because something wanted to blank the blank. But I don't know what this part even is. And I don't know who else is dead. Where is there another body? There are three bodies here, but that's not a body. Who would have had the stamp? is dead I can't find I mean other than these three bodies I don't know who's dead I can't even go to the castle
I don't, I don't even know what that is. Am I missing some story somewhere? What story am I missing? Somewhere I'm missing story and I don't know where. Somebody else have a piece of paper on them that I'm missing. At 8 a.m., a newfangled insurrectionist carriage passes by. I mean, I have no idea. Early in the morning, somebody went somewhere to do something to someone because someone wanted to something to something. But I don't even know who else is dead. Yes, I need a hint. I don't even have like an inkling of an idea. The events of the crossroads, the events of the manor, the events of the manor is what I want. Imagine this, my friend. Some important, someone important may have died here, but why would that person come here? To understand that, you must carefully untangle the mystery of the cabin. It may lead you to some important revelations about identity of someone and his ambitions for romance. What? Kidnap the ideal wife? <laughs> what? You're serious. Someone might have died there, but why would that person be in W? <laughs> oh no, you definitely missed like the pivotal moment there. 
Before storming the king's castle with the order party, Lazarus Hurst led his men to Sebastian Cloudley's old manor in order to kidnap his long-lost love Mary Batley, nay Richards, who was hiding there with her husband Peter Batley. Upon entering the manor, Lazarus and his troops were confronted by a drunk Peter and the cannon he had won while gambling. Peter blew up Lazarus, breaking the idol, and then fled the scene with Mary. That's the whole game. And now insurrection has begun. Hey, weren't you with the order party? Oh, no, no, no. I was never part of that ghastly organization. Wait. I can take this gilded brass trinket for scrap metal. You can have three sous for it and call yourself lucky. Wow. Wow, that's the game! Holy moly. We did it. We make it a moment. We make it a moment. That was a really good game. What a compelling narrative. Uh, did exactly what it needed to do. Knew what it needed to do. I was compelled the entire time. I couldn't stop playing. Um, it's a doggone good game. And it's a game through and through. I like the narrative. I like that the Golden Idol came throughout. I don't really want to be done. I kind of want more of these games. I want them to keep making these games. Because that was a really fun play style. That's an excellent game. I think it I think it deserves a solid 4.5. Honestly, a 5 because I what else could it have done? There were a couple I guess there were a couple of like obtuse moments, but in the end I got them with only using their hint system. I never had to google the answer. I mean that that might be like the perfect little mystery game. An epilogue, you say? Oh, I was just saying I wanted more. The grand vision of a better world. Ow! Oh, look, there's more. I was just saying I wanted more. I wanted more. <clears throat> oh, I need to stop. Witness the power of my idol, of the idol in my hands, and swear loyalty to Lazarus Hurst. He will build the ideal society. The Brotherhood of Masks. Only one thing is worse than imbeciles. Imbeciles with power. The rich and noble have a social club with mystical rituals and other hogwash and are so stupid that they do not realize they had some truly miraculous technology in their hands. However, they are influential and persistent and have already caused a great deal of harm to me and my goals. Walter Keene has told me about their organization and practices. If he tells the truth and they are truly devoted to their religious and entity of the Griffin Reborn, I could gain some powerful allies for my next move. The Order Party Manifesto. All citizens are equal. All citizens must serve society to the full extent of their abilities. Citizens must be evaluated according to how virtuous they are. A society with internal contradictions is unsustainable. Therefore, it must be led by the most virtuous person. The king should step down. The aristocracy should be abolished. The more virtuous citizens are better able to serve society. Therefore, virtuous citizens deserve to gain more time on this earth, and bad citizens deserve to lose time. This is unbelievable. My pure Mary has joined in matrimony with that clown, Peter Batley. She must have done it out of grief for my death. Such a hasty decision goes against every principle of virtue. Therefore, I consider the marriage null and void. She will come to me once she learns I still live. But for now, my duties in the service of humanity take precedence. He was alive! Societies must be built on the principle of virtue. Uh, only thus can it become truly great. Look at the Lemurians. Thousands of years ago, they had an empire on the banks of seven seas. Their ancient technology continues to baffle modern science, but they can, but they become inert and decadent and forgot how to build and operate their machines. Their empire crumbled because it was built on pleasure-seeking, not virtue. It is by divine providence that I got my hands on a working ancient Lemurian artifact, the Golden Idol. I will use its powers to set humanity on the right path by, by, deal, by building the ideal state. I swear it, yes, with these powers I will do whatever is necessary to build a better world. Oh my goodness. It's the first chapter. Yes, my lord, I swear my loyalty to you and will undertake whatever tasks are required of me. David, I thank you for dealing with all my challenges relating to my death and for keeping an, an eye on our new ally. I do feel I have impressed him not only with the Golden Idol, but also with my vision of the ideal society. Welcome, come to our hideout on November 24th, ready for the next step. Donate to a veteran who lost his leg in the noble defense of his homeland. 
have any bottle of jam and Anne's not reading. Whoa. Whoa. Blank blank left the blank to the blank in his will, but then blank blank on blank blank order stole the blank and accidentally stabbed blank blank. The blank tasked blank blank to punish blank blank and recover the blank, but his attempts were fruitless. There's so much more to this story. Just when I thought we were done. Okay. So that's all the way back at the mermaid. So somebody left the idol to the blanket as well, but then blank blank under blank blank's orders killed somebody. I thought it was Ash Blair. Doesn't actually say Ash Player did it, does it? What? Oh man. All right, Sebastian Cloudsley. Sebastian Cloudsley to the Brotherhood in his will. But then somebody on somebody's orders stole the idol and accidentally stabbed Willard Wright. Who stole it? Was it David Gorin? Who has it after this point? Cloudsley has it at that point. Oh yeah, who was supposed to kill? Was it David Gorin?
the dark hand steward. Nicholas Maker. It's not down there. Oh, what level was everything? <laughs> There's so much to remember, dude. There's so much to remember. Steward is that level. The lowest level. Darkhan is the silly face. Chester Davy, who the heck is that? Ah, oh, I was so close. Sebastian Cloudsley left the idol to the Brotherhood in his will, but then David Gorin, on Edmund Cloudsley's order, stole the idol and accidentally stabbed Willard Wright. The Brotherhood tasked James Turner to punish Edmund. No, the order. No, it was the Brotherhood. The order? No, Brotherhood. Maybe was it David Gorin again? No. Who was tasked? Maybe it was Alistair? Walter? Walter Keane. Sebastian Cloudsley left the idol of the Brotherhood in his will, but then David Gordon and Edmund, Edmund Cloudsley's orders or stole the idol and accidentally stabbed Willard Wright. The Brotherhood tasked Walter Keane to punish Edmund Cloudsley and recover the idol, but his attempts were fruitless. During one attempt, Blank Blank was captured and Blank Blank convinced him to join his side, but Blank, uh, Blank Blank used the Blank to make himself young and infiltrated the Blank under the new identity that's what happened? Oh, I, I just got it. Oh my gosh, this is a 10 out of 10 game. Oh my gosh, this is such a good mystery. Are you kidding me? This is such a good mystery. This is such a good mystery. This is such a good mystery! Edmund Cloudsley was never dead. He was Lazarus. And Lazarus is somebody who's been resurrected! Ow! I love it so much! Oh my goodness, that is such a good story. Oh yes! Brother and Master, somebody and somebody helped Blank seize power in the country and reinforce the rule of Blank by taking Blank away from the common people and giving it to the Blank Blank members. Right from the final showdown with the uncooperative Blank, Blank Blank wanted to kidnap Blank Blank, but was shot by the Blank Blank and the Blank was broken. Oh my goodness. This is so good. It was a love story. <laughs> it's a love story. That is an exceptional video game. What an exceptional story. I take it back. My nine, 9.5 is gone. It's a 10 out of 10 game. Oh my gosh, that was such a good story. That was such a good story. Are you kidding me? I love it. That's like Agatha Christie, like perfection. All the twists, all the turns. That's one of my favorite mysteries I've ever experienced. Wow, that was good. Are you kidding? And I got 100% achievements. 
exceptional game. Exceptional game, exceptional gaming experience. Yes, dude. Ah, oh, I'm so in it. I am so in it. Yeah, that's a 10 out of 10. That's a 10 out of 10 game. And I just love, I love the twists and the turns. I loved the result. I love where we, we landed. We're going to take a three minute break. <laughs> We're going to take a three minute break and then we might start a new game. We'll see. I've got plenty of games on the backlog that I want to go through. So we're going to take a quick break and I'm going to, I'm going to come back and we're going to look through and uh, see you guys in just a second. <laughs> Closed captioning calls you Ricky time tree. <laughs> Ricky time tree and swapping up instead of swapping. Ricky. <laughs> Is it in the TV? No. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Is that a turkey? It's a demon. It's a demon. I thought it was a turkey. <laughs> I definitely thought it was a turkey with the arms. Oh, happy Thanksgiving. Okay. I like turkey better than demon. You don't eat the outside. I'm not talking about the outside of the pineapple. I'm talking about like the edge. I got one. I got one. I got Sometimes one. if you don't cut the pineapple properly, you get a little too close to the edge and it tastes a little bit like a Lego. That's all that I'm suggesting. A Lego? What kind of pineapples Ooh. are you eating? A little bit like a Lego. Uh, what kind of pineapple uh, are you eating? Why are you tasting Legos in the first you place? You guys have never chewed on a Lego. Give me a break. No. You've chewed on a Lego. <laughs> okay. We're nerds. Let's open this. Everyone has chewed on a Lego. Everyone on planet Earth has chewed on a Lego, chewed on a Lego once. I know how you. I know how that tastes. Yes, you're. Look, you're working on it. You're working on a project. A piece gets stuck. Right, you can't get it off with your fingers, so you bite it off no, with your teeth. And then while you're waiting, you're the Legos in your. You're eating. Yeah, on, you're biting the Lego. Chewing on it. I'm no, biting that, it off. That's what their Lego removal tool is for. Yes. No. What if we don't have one. I have that's a built-in. I have a built-in Lego removal tool, and it's called my teeth. Yeah. Oh, chicory. Okay, now let's show them. Oh! Oh, it's just like real life. Oh, it's just like real life. Oh man, that's hashtag relatable. <laughs> Every single time I'm on Twitter and I post my art. <laughs> I post my art and then somebody responds. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, secure this. I have a power seat. Someone want to come escort me? Oh, I killed two people. That was fun. <laughs> oh, I killed people. <laughs> Wasn't that exciting? Oh, oh, I killed another person. Yeah, I'm really well, good at this. I will say, Nate, you're in second place right now. Yeah, I just killed three people oh, in a row. Oh, That's pretty dead. good. Oh, the Pink Ranger! No! Nice. nice triple. Pink Ranger killed me. A burden. Ha! Okay. I'm still trying to I'm still trying to convince everybody to watch Tokyo Revengers, and I feel like nobody has watched. Why is Llama in the boat? Not the screaming. Why? No! Why is Christina in the boat with the llama? No, Anne Louise! Everybody's in the boat. Why are there Why is there love? Why? Why are there hearts floating around? What does this even mean? I'm so confused. Why is the Very llama just going along with this? Welcome back. The llama's just so cool Let's about it. Just like, it. this is my life now. These are my people. Oh, no. Now we gotta figure out what to play next. And I don't know. I don't even know what to play next. You guys, that game was so good. I just reviewed it 10 out of 10. Honestly, probably one of my favorite games I've played this year. Might be my favorite game I've played this year. Wow. That was such a good game. I think if if you if you were able to tolerate the um, the art style, if you were able to like push through to the end of the game, wow. Wow.
All right, I'm on my top 10 games. I roll, I roll, not top 10 games. Games I've rolled credits on in 2023. I got to figure out where these rank. Um, I haven't ranked a couple so far. Where does Fire Emblem Engage, Detroit, A Space of the Unbound, in the case of the Golden Idol go? The question is, is it Case of the Golden Idol or Pentiment? I think Pentiment, aha, man, that's really tough. Those are two very similar games. I'm going to put them up at the top for now. I guess I could show you guys what I'm doing. So these are the games that I've rolled credits on so far this year. And um, I haven't ranked these down here. So Pentiment, definitely the best. I don't know. Pentiment, Case of the Golden Idol, Space for the Unbound. Those are probably the three best. Um, Detroit was also really, really good. Um, Fire Emblem Engage. I'm going to say Silver Case and Asdos Falls are probably better than Wolf Game. Uh, and Twin Mirror, honestly. Forspoken probably was the worst game I played this year. Uh, Fire Emblem Engage. Better than Silver Case. Prob mm. not better than Fire not not better than Vampire Survivors. Uh honestly this looks pretty good. I think that's probably my ranking. It's a good ranking right there. Pentiment, Golden Idol, okay, uh, Spatially Unbound, Detroit Become Human, Vampire Survivors, Final Engage, Silver Case, Dusk Falls, Twin Mirror, Wolf Game, First Buck. Pretty good. Okay. Now I gotta figure out what I'm playing next. We also gotta rank. Where does it where does it sit on the entirety of the list of the games we've beaten on stream? We definitely have beaten another game. We've beaten a space for the unbound. Uh, case for Golden Idol. Oh no, I did rank Space Game Man. It was definitely better than Star Fox. And I guess better than Space Game Man too. Was it better than One Shot? I don't think so. Cool. Man, it just keeps growing. I feel like we've beaten more than 29 games on stream, but I guess I'm wrong. Oh, I can take that off of our currently playing list. I can also probably take Pokemon Violet off of that. So now what do we play? I have so many games that I want to play. I could just pick a game off the backlog. But I really want to play something that I like want to play, you know? Like what's the next game that I really want to play? Maybe Rakuen? Because I know Jate talked to me about Rakuen and I really wanted to play it. <laughs> Maybe it's a better game to play by myself. <laughs> if it's a walking sim, basically. Or honestly, chat's pretty dead today. I might just wrap up. I don't know if y'all just don't want me to talk or if y'all are uh, busy doing other things, but... Maybe we'll just wrap it up. I got lots of games to play, but we did finish a game on stream today, and that's pretty impressive. And I'm sick, and I have a lot to do. Maybe that's what we'll do. Maybe we'll call it, we'll wrap up stream here, and um, plan on starting a new game next Thursday. That'd probably be the best thing to do for my voice, for my vocal cords. My family would appreciate it, I'm sure, if I took it easy. And uh, we beat a game today, folks. We beat a game. Uh, we got to find somebody to raid. I know I saw Jake was live. Oh, no, we only have two viewers. I'm not going to raid anybody. Um, folks, we're Checkpoint Church. We're really a church. I'm Nerd Pastor and I'm really a pastor. We have three things to be true about every single one of you out there, regardless of whether I believe in God, don't believe in God, go to church, don't go to church. None of those things change these three things that we believe to be true about every single one of you. Number one that God loves you, like really, really loves you. Number two, we love you. We want community with you. That's what we're doing here. And then number three, that you, yes, you matter. You are a person of sacred worth. The world is a better place. Why? Because you are in it. Folks, with that, and until the next time that I see you, I hope that you're well, and I hope that you have a great rest of your week. 
Uh, and I look forward to seeing you next Monday, hopefully not sounding like this, with some more Pokemon Mondays. All right, until next time, bye-bye!